Rolando Roley Romero. He's not buying Terrence Crawford's win over Errol Spence. And he says, y'all thought I was joking when I was calling out Spence. I already knew he was done. Now Bud is getting all the credit for it. When years ago, Errol Spence would have beat the ish out of him. We're going to talk about what Roley had to say about Bud Crawford. We're going to talk about what he had to say about the fight between Bud Crawford and Errol Spence. But before we do that, make sure that y'all hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed. If Rolando Roley Romero, if he ain't nothing else, the dude is a comedian. You know what I'm saying? Dude is funny. But a lot of things he be saying, we don't even take him serious. But apparently, he's saying that we should have took him serious with all the call outs he was doing with Errol Spence. Errol Spence was laughing at him, and Spence wasn't even taking him serious. But y'all remember, Rowley continued to call out Errol Spence. Every interview he got, he says, I want to fight Spence. That's who I want to fight. I'm going to 147, and I want to fight Errol Spence. Every interview, he kept saying it. Now, I thought he was trolling. Everybody thought he was trolling. And wasn't nobody paying this dude no attention. And they shouldn't have been paying them no attention, right? Because we look at Roley as, you know, he ain't all there in the head. He on medical leave right now as we speak. But the whole time we was laughing at Roley, whether we should have been laughing at him or not, he says that he was dead serious about fighting Errol Spence. He says because he knew Errol Spence been done. He says he know things about Errol Spence and he knows that he was a shell of himself. This came about in a conversation when he was talking to a couple of other guys with Ellie Setback and they asked him about Terrence Crawford being one of the best fighters pound for pound in the sport. And he was like, I don't care about Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford ain't what everybody say he is. He says he went in there and he beat a washed up Errol Spence, a Spence that was already done. I told y'all that I wanted to fight Errol Spence because I would have been the one getting all the same credit that Terrence Crawford is now getting. And Bud ain't what y'all think he is. He went in there and he took advantage of a Spence that is not the same fighter. He says, actually, Errol Spence would have beat the shit out of Terrence Crawford if they had a fought some years ago. And he said three years ago, but I know he meant the wreck. And I'm going to let y'all hear exactly what Roley had to say. When he's saying all of this, I'm thinking about this, right? And when I'm watching the fight, you want to give Terrence Crawford all the credit in the world. He went in there and he did what he had to do. Errol Spence hasn't said anything since he fought Terrence Crawford. He ain't made no excuses, but we have heard some things come out that Errol Spence did not get to spar for the last six weeks in training camp because he had a bad injury right to the ribs. I don't know. I wasn't in camp with that man, so I can't tell y'all. We've heard a lot of different things. What I do know is I did see Errol Spence, the week of the fight, running up the mountains in Las Vegas in 110 degree weather with a sweatsuit and a hoodie on. So that let me know that he wasn't nowhere around making weight. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't even be running up no mountain the week of a fight. You should already pretty much be on weight. And we did see Errol Spence doing that. So that's not a rumor. That is a fact. So maybe he did have problems cutting weight. And then right after the fight, one thing that he said, he said he can't fight at 147 no more. If he fight in the rematch, he's going to have to be at 154 because he's done with the weight. That's pretty much all he said. He didn't make no excuses. He gave Bud Crawford all the respect in the world and left it at that. But... We all can see that Errol Spence did not look like the same fighter in that fight. He was getting knocked down by jabs and things like that. So, Roley, he not feeling the hype of Terrence Crawford. He ain't believing it. This is what Roley had to say about the victory that Terrence Crawford had over Errol Spence. And then we're going to come back and we're going to cook on what he had to say. Terrence Crawford. Okay. Look, I'll tell you like this, I, I don't really care about Crawford. I called out Spence. I wanted to get that fight. Everybody knows why I called him out now. Why did you call him out? Because I saw that he was weak and I saw that he was he he was 
he, he, he was he was fragile now, you know what I mean? He's been through a lot, right? And I, I wanted to capitalize on it, and Crawford got lucky, and he was the one that took that, that, that was able to capitalize on it, you know? But like I said, him beating Spence doesn't say much about Crawford. Because if he would have beat Spence, I don't know, three years ago, well, then that, that's a complete. But Spence would have beat the shit out of him, man. Well, Everybody are high on Crawford right now, but he's not that special, man. Dean, no, what do you think? He, he's, not, he's, he's not as special as people are thinking, man. And, and, and then he talked yeah, about moving up to fight Canelo. He wants to fight Canelo. What happens in that fight? Cane bro, Crawford will never be able to box again after that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rolly funny as hell, you know. Rolly funny as hell. Now, that Canelo shit, hey, Crawford just looking for a payday. And a lot of you fool ass Chance Crawford fanatics think that man could really go up to 168 and mess with Canelo. He ever go up to 168 anytime soon and try to fight Canelo, just like Rowley said, he'll never box again. But see, the thing is, Crawford ain't even intended on ever boxing again. He just want to go up there, fight Canelo, get knocked the F out, and then retire. Man, Crawford even know he can't whoop Canelo. Y'all tripping. That man just want a payday. But back to the main thing that we were talking about. Now I know I got all of the blood protection committee. Oh, y'all. Y'all in the comments crying now. Y'all mad as hell now. <laughs> Hey, but real talk, what he was saying about Errol Spence, man, I can't lie to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I have to give Terrence Crawford all the credit for beating Spence, but I can't lie to y'all, like, I don't have it in the back of my head, like, man, was he the same fighter? Was something going on with him? Because he just did not look the same. But to keep it 100, only Errol Spence and Derrick James know what was going on that night. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even look the same in the locker room before the fight that night. He didn't look the same when they did the media workout, man. Derrick James was hitting him all upside the head with the mitts and stuff. His timing was all off. But at the end of the day, you know, I still say you got to give Terrence Crawford all the credit in the world because these are just accusations. We don't know. All we know is Bud went in the ring. He did what he had to do in dominating fashion. And the thing is, if something was wrong with Errol Spence, I don't agree with Roley. Bud didn't even know. Bud didn't know he was going to get in the ring with Spence and dominate like that. He didn't know until after the first to second round when he like, oh, yeah, this dude ain't strong. He ain't what I thought he was. And then Bud started going to work. But Bud didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Only thing we really could do is we could wait for whenever Spence has his next fight, whether it's with Bud Crawford or whoever it's going to be with, and see how he look in that fight. Now, if he come in that fight and he still look like he did in the Bud fight, well, then we know. He wasn't the same fighter. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know a lot of people going to say, oh, well, it's because Bud did what he did and he ain't the same fighter. I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. If that man come in and show that he looked like he did in that Terrence Crawford fight against a whole different opponent with a whole different fighting style, then we know that Errol Spence is just not the same fighter and was not the same fighter the night that he stepped in the ring with Bud. But... You know, of course, all the Terrence Bud Crawford fans, they're going to give all the credit to Bud and say the reason he not the same fighter is because of the beating that Bud put on him. But, you know, me, this is just my opinion. Me, my opinion, if he come and look like the same fighter that he was against Bud, against a fighter with a whole different fighting style, I'm going to think that he just wasn't the same fighter to begin with. But one thing we do know, if you go to the Ugas fight, Right, and you look at Errol Spencer's body, and then you look at his body how it looked in the Terrence Crawford fight. Two totally different bodies. I'm talking about in that Ugas fight, he was slim and he was ripped up. In the Terrence Crawford fight, he didn't have no cuts in him like that. You know what I'm saying? His body looked different. But anyway, you know, people gonna speculate, people gonna say anything they want to. But with Roly, hey, Roly just a comedian. Whether you want to take what Roly is saying is serious or not, you can't really take him serious because I don't care if Errol Spence is a shell of himself, he gonna still with Roly. Roly would have still got in there that night and got knocked the F out by Errol Spence. But if you want to take him serious, you know, ain't too many people going to take him serious. But anyway, y'all let me know, does he have a point? 
Y'all drop your comment in the comment section. Let me hear what y'all got to say. Does Roly have a point or is just Roly running his mouth again? Anyway, make sure y'all hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you not already sub. And y'all already know how I do. Dago talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.